Hey guys, welcome to the Kids Corner. First we'll hear from Miss Lynn, then we'll have a song. Hey boys and girls at Gorman, just coming to you. We're going to have a really good study this week. I like it because it involves something that I really love and that I have a lot of, and it's sunglasses. So, before we get to talking about sunglasses and how it relates to our study, I want to tell you about our holiday this week. October 14th, which I think is Wednesday, is National Dessert Day. So, we all need to have our favorite dessert. Now, it's really hard for me to know what my favorite dessert is. It's somewhere between peach cobbler and maybe pecan pie. So, on National Dessert Day on Wednesday, even though I'm trying to be on a diet, but uh, you know how that goes sometimes, I'm going to have to pick between peach cobbler and pecan pie. So, think about that on National Dessert Day. Maybe you can even cook a dessert. Wouldn't that be fun um, to cook a dessert with your mom or your dad? Just think about that on Wednesday. Well, right now, we're going to talk about the things that maybe... We don't see Jesus as clearly as we need to. Because we let all these things get in the way. Things that Jesus doesn't really care for us to be thinking about or even doing. So now, it's time for me to put on some sunglasses. Take off these glasses. Put on some sunglasses. I have got them. So, I have a picture here. A picture or a likeness of Jesus. There he is right there. Well, when I look at it through these sunglasses, it's a little hard for me to see because even on a clear day, sometimes it's really hard for us to see clearly what Jesus would have us to do. And you know why? Because the things in the world get in the way. The things that the world thinks we should be doing. Or the things that we like in the world. So even with just my sunglasses, I, I can see Jesus in this picture. But it's a little dim. And that's the way we see Jesus sometimes. But let's talk about some things that can really change the way we see Jesus. Okay, I'm going to take off my sunglasses. I'm going to put back on my other glasses. And we're going to fix these sunglasses. We're going to talk about the things that blind us, that we can't see Jesus the way we need to. Here is when we have idols. You know what idols are. They're things we worship instead of worshiping God. Remember we've talked about idols. It might be a, your favorite video game. It, it might be a, a special house, a fancy car, uh, your favorite toy. You might spend too much time on that. And that would be like an idol separating you, blinding you to Jesus. Oh, here's another one. How about laziness? Laziness. When you're being lazy, not doing what you should be doing, you're certainly not spending time with Jesus. You're not spending time doing your cleaning your room and doing your homework. You're being lazy. Oh, not a good thing. Oh, here's one, a really bad one that can... Take away our sight from Jesus. That's murder. Ooh, murder. Mm. So many things to take to blind us as to what Jesus wants us to be doing. Let's see what else we have. Oh, selfishness. Selfishness is a biggie. We just want to do what we want to do. We don't want to be bothered with what we need to do for somebody else or what Jesus would have us to do. Oh, pride. There's a big one. Pride. Let's put that one right there. That means we're too proud to do something that somebody, uh, that, that Jesus may want us to do. It might be go talk to somebody that, that you don't really like or that you don't want to be around. Too much pride. Oh, greed. How about that? I'm not giving my money to the church. i got to hang on to it. And i got to make some more money and hang on to that. Oh, that blinds you. Blinds you what Jesus wants you to do. And see what others we have. Oh, this is a biggie. Lies. 
not telling the truth, that really blinds you to what Jesus would have you to do. He wants us to always tell the truth. Lies really take our eyes off of Jesus. They blind us to what he wants. Let's see what this one is. Stealing. Well, that's not a good thing to do. We know that. But sometimes people just get caught up in stealing. They see something they want, and, and they just think they're supposed to take it. But all of these things that are now on my pretty sunglasses, when I put them on now, here they are. When I look at this picture now of Jesus, it was a little dim before, but now I see nothing. I see nothing because all of these things are in front of my eyes. All of these things that the world would have me to do. All of these things that the world approves of. Thinks it's okay to do some of these things. But Jesus does not. He doesn't want us blinded by sin. And all the things on my glasses that are blinding me. When I put them on and look at the picture of Jesus are different types of sin. What an amazing lesson today. It speaks to everybody. But you know what? If we trust Jesus, we give him our heart, and we confess all of these things, all of these things that get in our way, that blind us, guess what? He can, we ask his forgiveness, and because he died on the cross, these sins can come away. Look, I've got my pretty sunglasses back now. That is all you have to do. When it clouds you and you can't see Jesus, you ask for forgiveness and he takes it away. Our verse this Sunday, and I don't have it in, in my Bible. I'm going to read it from my phone. 1 Peter 2.11. My friends, remember that you're really strangers in this world. You don't belong here. So I'm telling you not to do bad things that your body may want you to do. Those bad things fight against what is good for your soul. They stop you from doing good things. Exactly all the things on our glasses would keep us from doing the good things. Have a great week. I love you. Eat some dessert on Wednesday. Tune in to our morning worship service with music and Pastor Craig preaching.